Okay, so this gentleman has what looks like a pancreatic body uh, cancer with liver mets, and he's got very bad pain. So we're planning. Uh, you do dans la bouteille, yeah. So we're planning to do the biopsy and an neurolysis as well. So um, you may or may not know we recently published a randomized trial um, of early neurolysis versus just regular management for inoperable pancreatic cancer. It was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, I think uh, two or three months ago, six months ago maybe. Uh, anyway, so we really showed that if you do neurolysis early, so even before they're having refractory pain, uh, you really reduce their narcotic consumption down the line and uh, their pain scores were better at all times compared to the conventional treatment group. So now anybody who comes in with pancreatic cancer who has uh, pain uh, and is inoperable, we do the neurolysis right away. And the benefit was even maintained at three months in patients who ended up getting chemo radiation. So even though you may not know whether they're going to get chemo radiation or not, it doesn't prevent them from getting chemo radiation, and it still may benefit. And some patients, you know, may, may not be able to tolerate chemo radiation, so you don't know when you see them whether they're really going to be able to tolerate it. So we just do it to everybody. So he's supposed to have fairly obvious liver lesions. We'll see what that looks like. Okay, so... A uh, Dr. Gary P. Yes, there's one there. Okay, you guys can see this here. Uh, there's another one there. Okay, so I just found the grease to play the 25. Puis il est dans l'étude, oui, hein? Okay, fait qu'on veut vous voir sur lequel on commence avec. Puis tu peux appeler Dr. Gary P. aussi. So if they have a primary pancreatic lesion, which is here, and they have liver lesions, I'll do the liver only. This one's even, this one's even closer there. Yeah, see this one is sort of a little subcapsular. I tend to try and avoid subcapsular lesions because I figure there may be a slight risk of bleeding. Or if you're going to do them, just try and go through some normal parenchyma to get to them. I think we'll go for this deeper one here. So with the liver, you get the needle out. So you see the tip, then get an idea where you want to go. Don't sit there scraping on the capsule. Just uh, go in, and if you need to adjust, you can adjust once you're inside, because the liver is quite soft. See how nicely we see this needle. Okay, there we go. There we go again. Okay, going back and forth through it again. Okay, I might come out one more time and go in somewhere else. Oops. Okay, so that's a little better there, maybe. So liver cytology is quite difficult, I think, but... Uh, when it comes to distinguishing this type of tumor, I think they don't have too much of a problem. There's the, my needle there. See, I have to move my shoulders to keep the needle in view. Okay, so that should be enough. Okay. All right, let me take another look at this liver lesion. So I just want to show if I can follow the see But I'm hitting some resistance. So when you hit resistance, you don't want to push against the resistance. You got to... Let your t so see, look, you can see it's encasing SMA at the bay. It's really infiltrating very deeply right down to the aorta. And that's why he's having so much pain, I think. And there's his celiac is right in here. It's totally encased as well. Okay, so we're going to do another biopsy. So remember, no stylet. Okay, so there's this. We have to do the same lesion because it's for study purposes. 
There we go. Okay, so there's the needle. So if you notice, I think this is the other needle. Both needles are really quite easy to see. You just gotta take, okay, so that's positive. So positive again with no stylet. Someday people will believe us. It's funny because I think we've, we've done, we've demonstrated this in live courses and studies and everything. And I still have people telling me it's impossible to do FNA without a stylet, which is just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to do neurolysis. Um, you know, he's clearly inoperable. He's got liver mats. He's got, you know, arterial involvement. If we ever have any doubts, we'll call the surgeon right away and see what they say before doing the neurolysis. We will only do neurolysis in people who have a proven cancer. And um, we do the bilateral technique. So we, we fill the needle with the alcohol. I put the alcohol first. Most people put the bupivacaine first. We put the alcohol first. I'm also honestly not convinced the bupivacaine is of any value, but we do it still anyway. But we put the alcohol first to avoid diluting it with the bupivacaine because you want to get the concentrated alcohol in position first. That's the most important thing before diluting it with the bupivacaine. So we're going to go at the celiac here. I'm going to plan to go from here down to here on one side, turn away and go do the other side. So I'm going to do this side. So we're at the base. I'm going to turn away, do this side. I'm going to come back to the base, turn the other way and do that side. And then the bupivacaine, I tend to put it now all here at the base. Again, to avoid sending the bupivacaine, the bupivacaine to dilute the alcohol, OK? So there's our needle. I think we've got a good angle here. So the needle's going in. Uh, let me go, let's try and go a little deeper. By the way, this guy has gastric varices. But uh, don't worry about that. At least I'm not going to. So we're going to go here, go deep here. Nope, oh, I didn't like that. Hold on. Oh, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought. I didn't like the feel of that. Okay, so I'm there. I'm going to go to one side here. Okay, it's respirating. Okay, we aspirate, make sure there's no blood. Okay, was he? Okay, so when they get pain, as I say, they, that's a good sign. Okay. The problem here is this, gen this gentleman. Okay, c'est presque fini. I, I, as I say, the, the pain is actually, um, I think, a, 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 okay. No, no, touchez pas au-dessus, monsieur. Ouvrez la bouche, ouvrez la bouche, ouvrez la bouche. Ouvrez la bouche. Ouvrez la bouche. OK, OK. Restez sur le côté, comme ça. So I hate to say, but the pain is a good sign. It means we're in the right place. And I think it, it, it portends a more effective block. To get him over here more. OK. So you get, the blo you get the blush from the alcohol. OK. And then I went deep here again. So I did this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, there we go. Uh, Just kind of pushing in there. So we're aspirating. Uh, so she's going to aspirate again. Uh, okay, was he? Uh, More pain uh, again. Okay, somebody watch his hands, please. Okay, 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 okay. okay. There we go. Okay, get, you get the blush again, and it'll go away in a couple seconds. Voilà, restez là, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Usually you want to stay behind the wall with the needle, but he's moving around, so I don't want to... I came back out. Now I'm going to just wait for the blush to go away. Okay, and I'm just going to go at the base here with the bupivacaine. Okay. This is your bupivacaine now. Okay, and 
that's it. All right. So believe it or not, I think that was a successful neurolysis. There we go. So usually by the time they get to recovery, they're feeling much better. Okay. Okay. No, 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 tissue boats it. There's the go. Okay, there we go. So there's a celiac there again. Over here. Okay. Take some air out of his stomach and then we're going. Okay. Voila. Okay. Okay. So we don't, uh, you know, we don't do any particular maneuvers for hypotension and stuff. We find all our patients after EUS are hypotensive a little bit. And we've never had any major hypotension to my knowledge. You know, we get some, but I mean, the nurses rarely come and talk to me about it. And uh, we tell them that they're going to have diarrhea probably for a couple of days after. That can be quite bad. Um, so you just have to let them know that. And the good thing is when you use the alcohol, there's no antibiotics involved. So when they get diarrhea, you know it's not uh, C. difficile or anything like that. It's just really due to the neurolysis. So as I say, these patients generally feel really quite, quite well after. And uh, the data seems to show that it really helps reduce their morphine consumption and uh, improve their pain scores at all t time periods. And if you need to repeat it, you can always repeat it. But generally, this is good for the uh, lifespan of the patient.